assignment again today. Sweet. Remember the last uh, assignment was you just had pictures and you had to prove the triangles are good. No. So originally we had to show all three angles and all three sides congruent. And if you remember the last assignment, it shortened it up. If you could prove that all three sides were congruent to the other three, that means they are, and you just put the reason why, right? Remember that? Yes. And then we also had, it was SAS, right? So all this is, is it's adding two more ways now. So now you're not going to just have two reasons, you're going to have four things that will work. Um, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side also works. Now this one, angle, angle, side, it doesn't matter which way you write it, you could write it backwards, side, angle, angle, that doesn't matter. So they're done the same way. Um, now I want to point out, there is a fifth reason, it won't be in this assignment, it's called hypotenuse leg, HL. This only works on right triangles. And what this means is both hypotenuses are congruent and both, or it wouldn't be both, it'd be a leg on each is congruent. Okay, so again, that's going to be in the next one. They're just going to add this to these four. So really, it's, uh, it's the same, like that worksheet we corrected yesterday, the last assignment we did. You're going to have a picture with triangles on it, and you got to say, if they are congruent, you got to put which reason, and if they're not, you just put no. You guys got to put your iPads away now. So like here, in this picture, these two angles are congruent, these two sides, these two angles. So these are congruent because of angle, side, angle. Now does everyone, sometimes people have a tough time reading that or seeing the picture? Yeah. Because some people say, well why can't you call this angle, angle, side? Because if I start here and go there and yeah, go you're there, skipping angle. you're skipping, right, you're skipping over that. They got to be consecutive. Now in this one, we have two angles. These two angles, these two angles, and that side. So depending on where you start, if I start here, and then I go this way, it's side, angle, angle. This is the same thing, side, angle, angle. Now remember, this one can be written either way, because I could have started here and went this way, angle, angle, side. It's the same, it's just backwards, angle, angle, side. Alright? So, in this picture, are these two triangles congruent? Yes. That's What's the reason? Because uh, angle is side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, angle, side. <laughs> what do you say? Why is it no? Not enough information. We do know this side is congruent because it's shared. We know these two are equal, but we don't know anything else. It looks like they're congruent, but we don't know it for sure. Because these two aren't marked that they're congruent, neither are these, and there's no angles. So in this picture, it would just be no. We don't have enough information. This one. Yes. Yes, and what's the reason? Angle side angle. Yep, shared side. So this goes A-S-A, A-S-A. Does everyone understand why it's angle side angle? Okay. It's in order. It's in order. Yeah. So this one now, we're going to start seeing some of these that have parallel. These don't mean they're congruent; it means they're parallel. So whenever you see parallel, they're going to you're going to see this picture a lot. Um, alternate interior angles are congruent, so this angle equals that one. Okay. Um, we do know one other thing in there. It is a shared side. So what is it? Angle side. Nope. Because 
The side angle, is here. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. See, we got an angle, an angle, and a side. An angle, an angle, and a side. Or you could do it backwards, side, angle, angle, side, angle, angle. So when you're doing this, when you're trying to figure out what order it goes in, see there's nothing here and there's no angle there. So what you're gonna do is start either here or there and then work your way towards the other ones. So you find where there's the gap, where there is nothing. Like here, there's nothing here, but there's something there. So I'd start there and then I work my way around till I get to the three things, angle, side, angle. Or since there's nothing here, I could go this way. There's an angle, and there's a side, and there's an angle. Okay, we don't need to do these problems. So, in this one, they don't have it marked on there, but they give you some information. R is the midpoint of QS. So what does midpoint mean? Middle. Middle, which means what's congruent? The, the sides. Right. Since this is the midpoint, that means this equals that, right? Because it's the middle. So now that we use that information, angle. now what would make these angle two? Side angle. angle side angle. Angle side angle, angle side angle. Okay.